This time on Bugging Out, I branded a scorpion with my magic. And the bug chef basically said there's no big deal. You know, I think the dangers of eating bugs are greatly exaggerated. Oh. But if you're still freaking out, then you need to watch this episode on nutrition. We're putting hornworms in our mouth. I'm a full spectrum chef. I'll cook anything you want. So when I heard eating bugs is the next big thing, I decided to face my fear to discover what it's all about. In a magical kitchen with me, Mosquito, a bearded magic dragon. In Bugging Out with Chef Pee In Mosquitoes, the bearded magic dragon's magic kitchen. Cause everyone's doing branded content these days, and so am I. I've got the PV cam out here to go exploring on these hornworms, getting all deep up in here, okay? Hornworms are considered a major pest to nightshade crops, which include tobacco and tomatoes. But today, they're gonna be delicious, scrumptious, juicy hornworms in our mouth. I'm so excited to be making some hornworms because that's one of mosquitoes favorite insects to eat. Now, naturally, these hornworms are green. I only say that because isn't it interesting that if you feed them something different like wheat germ, they only express the blue that's in their blood. If we want a little bit more vitamin D, vitamin A, whatever, you can gut load them, which is actually the term. So you can actually have more control over the nutrition that you're getting and more control over the look. Hey, Don. Oh my God, it's Robert Nathan Allen. Hey, okay, listen up. Robert Nathan Allen knows all about farming insects. His nonprofit Little Herd teaches people the benefits and necessity of eating bugs. He is constantly referenced and featured in bug-related foodism nationwide. Google him now and get educated. Oh, Don, I heard you were talking about nutrition and I wanted to see what was going on. We are talking about nutrition and I was letting the audience know that you can actually tailor different qualities of your insects. Well, yeah, Don, I think what you're talking about with the diet of the insects is, is really cool with, with what we're doing. The diet that they eat has a really big impact on, on what it tastes like, what it looks like, and even how healthy it is. So if you have a, a diet for your hornworms that's really high in protein, you'll get more protein. Crickets that are fed mint, you're gonna get a little bit of that mint flavor. Can you talk to just like the nutrition level of insects and what people who come on board and expect health-wise. Absolutely, Don. A good way to look at insects from a nutrition perspective is to think about it the same way you do uh, really good seafood. A lot of seafood has protein, of course, but it has all these vitamins and minerals that you don't get from chickens or pork or, or beef. And insects are the same way. They have all these vitamins and minerals on top of the protein. Of course, beyond the protein, Don, there's a lot of other great vitamins and minerals that our bodies need, like calcium for strong bones, and insects are full of them. Hornworms have a lot of calcium. Do you know that to be true? That's right. Mosquitoes favorite. I take that over a glass of milk. <laughs> Thank you so much, Robert Nathan Allen, for being with us today. And if you ever want some very nutritious and delicious crickets, you need to order them from Robert Nathan Allen. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Now, we've been all up on the subject of nutrition, and these hornworms, which I've already frozen and have them ready to go for us, have calcium. You're going for nutrients. You're going for, like, some zinc, actually. Usually with insects, a lot of people like to boil them just to get off any excess residue. So I'm not gonna leave them in there for too long because they will start to lose their color and it's all about the color with these babies, at least in my opinion. And you don't wanna use, lose a lot of that nutrition which gets boiled out. Ow! Use a plate, PV, set an example. So now all I'm gonna do is take our hornworms and place them on our salad very strategically. Mustard vinaigrette with pepper. And I'm gonna taste this baby. Here we go. Each hornworm explodes with the intense essence of the sea's most delicious offerings. The robust tanginess of our mustard vinaigrette reveals the hornworm's sweet notes, and the pepper gives us finish with bite. I mean, 
I'm a great chef, so everything I make is delicious. However, these hornworms are really juicy, really spectacular, and I hope you give them a chance. Until next time, I'm Chef PV, and we're gonna keep bugging out. Next time on Bugging Out, the one and only Explorers Club is throwing a bug out banquet in New York City. That is amazing, you can put that on salads or even like ice cream or something. Yeah, we yeah. put them into all sorts of stuff. <laughs>